What's going zones? My name is Antoine, but you can call me Antoine for short. Now I'm about to take y'all with me on a day in the life of Michael Callion. Oh, oh, it's gonna be a good time. Cause we with Michael motherfucking Callion. Boy, I know you are not in my huh? house, person. No. I gotta go. I gotta go. Oh, there I am. Hey. <laughs> I am blessed and highly favored. Man, if I was doing any better, I'd have to be twins. Hey, man, drive me into the city, man, so we can get the trades. Okay. Okay. But you know my license is suspended. Huh? But you know my license is suspended, so we're going to be riding dirty if you ride with me. Your license is suspended, too? Oh, sorry. These are my house socks of the big fluffies that I get to walk around on. They even got things on the bottom so I don't slide, see? Oh. There's pads on them like that right there. Uh, I like uh, talking to myself for three reasons. Number one. And I like to speak to an intelligent man. Secondly, I like to hear an intelligent man speak. And third, who gonna listen to me? Don't come out there with that little piece of car. Man, they got half cars here. I pull up the other day, I asked the lady, man, where the rest of your car? <laughs> She's like, sir, do I know you? I said, bitch, where is the rest of your car? I'm reading this new book, brother. I wish I had a copy to give you. The 11 Universal Laws, brother. Somebody did it, went on the cheap. They went on the cheap. Mm. They got an eight by 10 paper, mm. right? They printed up mm. sideways like this. Right? They got no printer. They got a mimeograph for you. Crank it out with your hand. Uh, but they got my five dollars. So it worked. You can't afford a color copy. Uh, color copy. Uh, Eleven dollars. Eleven dollars. You got to throw in a whole nother. Got to put another six on top of that. Uh, these motherfuckers was like gangsters. <laughs> these bed bugs. You know, and they're on a mission. It's like mad about something. I don't know whether they just got evicted from the whole last hotel or something. I don't know exactly what it is, but they was going through something. So I slept really sound, mm. which gave them time to turn the top of my head into a damn buffet. Or buffet, as you may say. Okay. Being all bushy and everything. Okay. Right. Uh, I think you should just let them have it. Hey, I'm going to record from over here. All right, go. Hey, what'd you feed that dog, humans? Uh, first of all, my woman called him. She's she was kind of special. Um, she actually caught the bug. I didn't think nothing in my mind made me think I'd come back in. The bug still be around. But I come back in, and she said, oh, "I caught him." Wait, wait a minute. You got a bed bug trap? You caught him? The young girl over there is chewing on her nails. Girl, quit chewing on your nails. Though. I'm just trying to help the child. To help the child. Just, just help the child. Help the child. And do something good for the children. <laughs> Yeah, that's Me and R. Kelly, we are always looking up for children. <laughs> R. Kelly, man, he ain't dealing with no women over 16. 16 years old is a senior citizen. Throw that bitch out the window. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it, Robert. Yeah. We won't be airing that part either. We, you know, some of these parts we just do for ourselves. No, I'm definitely going to throw that in there. He's like, it's like being a black man and never seeing Black Panther. Everybody black has seen Black Panther. Ray, you have seen Black Panther, right? <laughs> Okay, thank you. Oh my look. Oh, that was close. Bishop, that was close. I thought you were gonna say not yet. Meanwhile, cleaning ladies come in. I take you out the room for you. I take no bitch. You ain't taking this bug nowhere. So the magic is there. Um yeah, LA drive. The magic got his camera. He won't take picture bug. Take we take the cup off. Oh, that's a bed bug, alright. Oh, plus, they charged me four hundred and sixty one dollars for the room. They didn't even give me the money back. Mm. It cost me four hundred sixty-one dollars to be a buffet. Every day, yeah. And law of attraction says if you, when you get the law of attraction down, you don't worry no more. I feel like you got that down you already, though. You... I don't, though. I wish I did. But when I have it down, there'll be no fear, no apprehension, mm. no worry about anything because you already know that all your needs are met. You already know that everything's gonna work out for the, your good. You know, but saying a thing and intellectualizing a thing is different than internalizing it. You know, when you really know it and own it as yours, that idea, mm. then it all works for you. Mm. Everything just falls in place. We're going to make it all work. Don't you worry about the thing, man. I'm if you want to call me uh, from a private line, then I want to respect your privacy and not answer. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was some good shit. I wish I wrote it. I'm mad that I'm uh, calling my friend Cigar. His name is Cigar Williams. He ain't smoke cigars. He dips snuff. <laughs> No, you don't. It just seemed like the appropriate thing to say. It's our turn, goddammit. It's time for the celebrities to put the squeeze on the little peoples. It's the Me Rich movement. My hair looks so crazy, man. 
And I had a perfectly round head before all of this. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't get my roundness back, somebody gonna be sued. I don't know what you like the best, man. That's just, uh... 1747. Okay. That was a good year. I mean, not for black people, but everybody else was having a good time. What were you doing around that time? Uh, thinking about coming into the world, brother. <laughs> Trying to see how I can change and change the attitude of the peoples. <laughs> of the peoples! So, what, what are you afraid of? Mostly you, nigga. Huh? Well, it can, it can be kind of grueling mm. being on three planes over a 23 hour period in coach. Of course, I'm gonna take, I got a miniature version of Connect Four. I take the Connect Four, play my little games. It could be some fly shit because at the end of that horrid trip. But don't say horrid. Because you're putting that in the universe. You're already talking about the law of attraction. So you can't say it's a horrid trip. Oh. Pastor, I thought my mother had left. Uh, the old Asian lady that work here, she don't let you look through magazines like they don't. She don't play that shit. Put it down, you buy, you walk. You buy, don't stop, no look. Like what, man? What can you not peruse the magazine? Okay. Oh, dance maker. La la. When I was a kid, I used to actually do the dancing. I used to walk to my car like I already paid for this. I was asking why. I don't walk that off. That's called stealing. She don't know about that. You don't know about helping people. You be trying to help yourself. <laughs> selfish. That's your problem. You're selfish. <laughs> <Don't> you? <laughs> if I could do a three-way with the rail. Not like that. This a minister. You be. You got problems. Uh, ooh, I got a joke to tell you. Call, give me some more rope. Remind me about that. Remind me. I'm first you was joking. <laughs> when I got law of attraction all the way down, understanding, internalizing in my soul, in my corpuscles, in, in every ounce of my being, none of those fears can even come up. I will know that whatever decisions I make and ideals and thoughts I have are correct because I'm totally open. Knowing everything is honest and pure and free. That it's all good because it's all God. And that God is always working and conspiring for my good. He want me to have what I want to have. All I gotta do is be clear on what that thing is I wanna have. And then I just send out nothing but love every place I go. Love, 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 love. And that's all gonna come back. Love, 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 love. Mm -hmm. So I'm getting it. I, I, I intellectually know it, but now I'm in the mission to internalize it. Mm -hmm. You know, that's all. I mean, I feel like you like that anyway, so you mean more consistently. Well, thank you. Because you are Michael what? Motherfucking cow. I didn't want to say the word. Ooh, my you got the words well, right. Well, my mom might see this. Some people think I'm vain, but actually, uh, that's my wallet size photo. You should see the one I got for the wall. <laughs> uh, socks. Michael motherfucker cat. That wasn't me, mama. You want to get want me to bring you something back? That wasn't me, mama. I worked hard today. I think I can treat myself to a nice meal. Might as well. Yeah. Now, if I hadn't worked hard, though, I'd go like, uh... Denny's and give me like a, uh, a patty milk, you know. <laughs> but this, this, this is one of the big nights you can eat a little bit more because you work hard. That's what life is like that. You're supposed to work hard and then play hard. That balances out. You play hard and you don't work hard, you can get fucked up. I'm telling you.